Welcome to Got To Eat Pizza, our learning to cook pizza channel. And today I'm reviewing the Unicoda. I've done six cooks in it and I think I've tested it as well as I can in those six cooks. I've used it in the breeze, beautiful day, tested the stone temperature to find out what temperature it can go up to. I've also tested it with the peels that I currently use for the other ovens I've got. I'll start first of all with the appearance of the Unicoda. It's super cool looking, it's lovely to look at, it's got a beautiful sleek matte black finish, high end quality, I'm not sure what it is, it's like a plastic and it's easy to wipe and there's no smudging on it, it just looks super cool, look nice in anybody's garden backyard it fits and it's very modern design the light sort of catches it with the angles it's got beautiful lines and sometimes when I'm filming it sort of glistens so I don't know what that that cover is made of it's just lovely cover and because it's dark it doesn't glare in your eyes when the sun's out The Unicoda is positioned on three long sturdy legs with a plastic edge at the bottom to protect your work surface. Those legs don't get hot, they're cold, they're a nice height up from the top of your table, whatever you're going to place it on, so that the heat doesn't hit the, the table that it's on, which is an improvement on the Uni 3 because that one's much lower and the heat was closer to your table. So that's an improvement, it's gone a bit higher and it hasn't taken away from the design of it or the stability of it, it's extremely stable. It's got a big thumbs up for me for the appearance. Another big thumbs up for me for this oven is the portability of it. It's very, very light. There's no chimney, which makes it very easy to move around, easy to carry and store takes up little room and it fits into the smallest of spaces and it's an oven that you could easily set up in, a, in the smallest of backyards or gardens. A very important part of this oven is the gas burner. When I first saw this oven being launched I did spot that immediately and I thought wow that's a huge improvement on the Uni 3 gas burner. The Uni 3 gas burner has two round holes and the gas comes straight from those two holes right down the middle of the oven. The gas burner at the back of this oven is totally different. It's straight grid of gas going right across the back of the oven and it comes out in very fine flames and it means that the pizza gets a, a better distribution of heat and flame which means that it'll just not hit the back of the crust but also around the sides and I think the gas burner on this oven is absolutely fantastic. It's really good. It's a huge improvement on the gas burner from the Uni 3. Also, the gas ignition button on this machine works. It actually works every single time. It just feels like a better design, and so I don't even have a matchbox anywhere or anything. It's perfect. It does light. I'm very happy with it so far. That's a big thumbs up for me for the gas burner at the back. The cook. This is the most important part of this oven, how it cooks. I've made six separate cooks on this oven, and I'm going to break the cooks into elements because there's different parts of the cook I like and different parts of the cook that I think I've yet to I need more work on <laughs> so first part of the cook I, I love and I'll give a huge thumbs up is the way that this oven cooks the toppings the toppings on this oven are cooked so well if you were able to not get stressed like me and keep that oven on high throughout the cook the toppings are fantastic on there it just manages to sort of hit them at this perfect angle and your toppings shoots perfectly above it so it doesn't burn it and it cooks it it just singes the edge of my chorizo and my salami so beautifully I really, really am impressed with the way it cooks the toppings. This was one of the reasons why I was worried about the oven originally. I thought it was going to be too low and that it would burn the toppings like I've experienced in the Uni 3, but it didn't and I'm so impressed with it. So it's a big thumbs up for the way that this pizza oven cooks the toppings the crusts. I love my crusts. <laughs> I like them crispy and I like them with that sort of leoparding bubbly crust. I don't make them very thin and I know that's maybe because I'm not very good at stretching but my crusts I do like them to be very 
crispy, look as if they've been cooked, and this oven does a fantastic job. As long as you keep turning it, those crusts will just cook beautifully. I think medium or high heat, and you will have the most beautiful crusts with this oven. Big thumbs up for the crusts. The base. I knew nothing about the stone cook. I thought that it would cook exactly like the Uni 3 because it's the same size oven with a nice gas grid. And I think that it can, as long as you get that temperature up. But I still haven't mastered it yet and some of them have come out not so great. And I think that's down to me more than the oven because I keep turning it and that means I'm lifting the pizza off the stones. If you keep it on the stone, you're gonna be fine. What I have noticed, it does sort of cook the rim at the back when you first put it in because when you want to get that middle of your oven to 430, the back of the oven is going to be a lot hotter. And it does tend to burn that edge of your crust very quickly. With the stone, it's good, it's fine. And I just think I need to learn to use it more. It does cook at 430 and I got the stone up to 470 and you can cook the base very well. It's got a very good cook. I just need to master it better. Just going to give you some other stone cook with the Uni Pro. These are wood fired cooked pizzas, bases, and these are the Uni 3 wood fired cooked bases. Just to show you in comparison how they cook as well. So my final thoughts on the Unicoda are that it's a great oven for first time cooks. It's a great oven for anybody who wants to cook and have fun in their back garden, backyard. And the only other thing that I haven't mentioned is if you live in a climate like mine where it could rain at any moment, then you will need to ensure that your uni is not outside. So unlike the uni 3, if you're stuck in the middle of the rain when you're cooking, you'll need to cover it up where it's started to drizzle right in the middle of a cook. With this one, that's more of a problem. I don't know what happens to it if, if you do get stuck in the middle of a rainstorm, but I would have some sort of protection around you if you think that it's going to rain. And the good thing about this oven is it hasn't got a chimney, which means that you can put an umbrella up like a, a garden parasol around you that will enable you to protect your oven if you're cooking with a, a slight chance of rain. I started off with the Uni 3 using pellets that if I'd started using this oven without pellets I think I would have improved quicker. This is more fun and it's easier to use if you're starting off. When you're starting off there's a few skills that you need to learn and I'm still learning them. I do find that this one is fun to cook with especially on medium heat. If you're a pro, you'll want to go straight in for that full strength cooking 60 seconds. I'm quite happy just having a nice fun cook with it. It's suitable for all levels and it's great if you're a beginner. So I would highly recommend this oven if it's your first foray into pizza making in your garden, for your friends and your family. It'll give you hours of fun and entertainment. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all again for your support. Enjoy your pizza making.